Welcome to Local Rock Talk. I'm the host, Pausa. Still doing something new is happening. We have a band named Purging Sin. Welcome to the show. No problem. I have a couple of questions that you can play. All right. How did your band start? Well, this started actually out of a cover band originally, um, which became an original band. And uh, started in about late 2011, early 2012, and uh, just finally settled on a good group of musicians and uh, in 2019 we're still still here we've had some lineup changes hopefully not too many more in the future but uh going strong awesome all right um is there going to be a tour uh, we have done many tours in the past, but many tours, uh, three to four shows within a, a five-day period. So uh, as far as long extended tours, they would have to be mapped out pretty well in advance to be able to, to get that far and back, but it's certainly, uh, a, the potential is there. All right, that's good to know. All right. Um how did you meet everyone in your band? Well, I met Matt through other musicians. Um, so we've been good friends and bandmates since about April 2015. March, April. Well, uh, 2016. Since 2016. Yeah, March 2016. Um, Brian, I believe, is through the one ad. So, yeah. yeah, so for me, it was uh, through a they put up a local ad looking for a bassist in the uh, in a local music store near where we are. Um, I just happened to be looking for a band, and I reached out to these guys. I was, I think, like the first and was I like the first and only one to like reach out or something like that, or did you have a couple people lined up? I think you. Were the, I think, the, you were, I think it was just you. Okay, yeah. So I was the only, I was the first and only one to answer the ad, and uh, I just happened to come down in May of 2018, and uh, I just started playing. We really hit it off, and here I am today, one year later. Awesome. Same thing for me. I also saw an ad. Like I was um, working at a guitar center in Manchester, and I was like spending my time in between lessons, just kind of like perusing uh, the board. And I saw an ad for Purging Sin, and um, I re I recognized the name on the ad, but wasn't quite sure where it was from. So I sent an email, and then I get a Facebook message from Anthony being like, "I know you," and I'm like, "All right, so this is off to a good start." And then uh, I just joined the band. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, when did the band got together? Well, it was formally official in the late 2011 era. Um, we started playing shows in 2012, and. Uh, I was actually a, you know, a two-piece, two just a, a drummer and myself, and uh, we ran that circuit until we uh, f found more members. But yeah, f officially about two th late 2011, early 2012. Awesome. Nice. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I have one more question. What other bands have you played with? Um, my first band, uh, we were together for three years. We were called Severed Oath. We played around the Dover era primarily. We, we used to play actually alongside the band Recognizer, which is uh, affiliated with uh, lo the local radio stations. I was in a band called Kick the Chair uh, through my college years. Uh, a cover band called Deviation, and from that came Virgin Sin. So that's it for me. Let's see, I was in a, originally in a cover band called PDA, 
And the first, I um, was with them for about three years. That was my first time playing live in the Manchester area. And then my first original band was a band called Safe Haven. Uh, I was with them for about nine months. And then um, the first kind of heavy metal, a little bit more on the extreme metal side, it was a band called Blackout Frenzy. And I was with them for about three years. And then Bloodshed Unreal for a little while. And I. Um, See, so I did some rehearsing with a band called Piad, and then I was on a bit of a hiatus looking for a band I was on the same page with, where I um, basically uh, met up with Anthony, because uh, his bass player at the time was friends with me on, um, on uh, what do call it, Facebook. So I actually started off um, in college. I was in an indie punk band slash cover band called Ham. It was through my university. Um, just got together, it was a rock band class, and then it just kind of formed into kind of just friends getting together. Then after we graduated, because we all lived in separate parts of New England, we all just went our separate ways. Um, after I had graduated and moved back to Massachusetts, I ended up joining a 80s heavy metal cover band called Heavy Metal Time Machine. Um, played one show with them, and uh, after that we just kind of broke up. And then when I actually started working in New Hampshire, and I actually started um, looking for people to play with. Uh, that was where uh, Purging Sin came in after I moved to New Hampshire. So I'll try to keep this brief. Um, I'm more of a session musician, so if I listed off everyone I played with, we'd be here for like three hours. Um, <laughs> but you know, you can, you, can, you can find samples of like my session work with a variety of other bands. Uh, the main two that you'll find recordings of really easily. Um, I played in a progressive rock band called For Fordham Road. I actually both played drums and wrote lyrics for them. Um, and I was one of the founding members. So you can find that, you know, if you go on Spotify or whatever, Fordham Road Band um, on Facebook. Um, and then I also play very frequently with Amanda McCarthy. Um, and I actually co-write co stuff with her as well. And you can go to amandamccarthy.com to find that, that stuff. And uh, she's more like pop rock and country. So it's very 180 from this band. <laughs> All right. So my... Um that's all the questions I have anyways. So, any information that they can con how to contact you? Very easily. Um, primarily, we are on Facebook, uh, PurgeonSin.com, um, Spotify, Reverb Nation, Twitter as well. Uh, what, what, am I, am I forgetting any? We have iTunes, uh, Google Play. We're available on all digital media. Um, <coughs> And uh, I know we're potentially trying to look to see if we can maybe get an Instagram in the future as well. And we do have a full-length album, which... Oh, so right. self-titled, full-length album. And, released uh, last year. Released last year. And we are currently recording the next batch of songs uh, for the next album. Awesome. So yeah, make sure you go on to Facebook and give them a like and support them when they're playing out. Yeah. So um. So anyways, that is all I have for questions. So up up next is Persian said you can you can. Stop playing a 20 minute set. Alright, awesome. Cool, thank you. Alright, we're purging sin. This one is called Speaking Through Silence.
your life. So, what time to play? Now you want to play. Fighting for your life. So, what to play? Now you want your name. Begging for your life. So, what time to play? Now you want to play. Fighting for your life.
Thank you. Thank you, we got Patron Sin. Thank you, Paulie, for having us. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you to the crew helping with the film and the sound. Yes, you in there too. Thank you, everyone. Watching Vocal Rock Talk with your host Paul Zabrilli. Until next time, keep on rocking.